Blockchain technology has been described in many ways. It has been criticized, promoted. So there is no doubt that there's plenty of mystery surrounding this technology. But helping me sift through the hype today is 360 Blockchain strategic advisor, Jeff Coyne. Jeff, great to have you here today. Thanks for having me, Remy. Well, we continue to hear about blockchain technology in the news as well as uh, read them in the headlines. There's no doubt that that technology will continue to accelerate going into the new year. But 360 Blockchain invests in companies um, and tries to identify early stage opportunities. So how do you do that? Well, we first and foremost, we stay away from the hype and the uh, sort of the excitement over the cryptocurrency market, the ICO market, also known as token sales. And that's where a lot of the headlines are driven right now. It's the all-time high prices of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Rather than go chase after that, we're more convinced that the underlying technology of blockchain is really where the future is. Uh, we, it, it's our fundamental belief that blockchain will be the defining technology for the next decade, much as the way the consumer internet changed the world in the late 90s into the early 2000s. So with that in mind, we look at companies that are using the actual technology, not the companies that are trying to chase ICOs or try to cash in on these crazes. We want to find small companies early stage with real fundamental uh, plans in place for growth and innovation. And Jeff, I think it's very important to make that distinction given everything that's happening around blockchain technology right now. But how does 360 blockchain identify the categories within these opportunities? Well, there are, there are a, class, a, a number of categories that are already sort of seen as classic opportunities for blockchain. There's finance and fintech, healthcare, real estate. Now, we think there are still ample opportunities there because these are huge global markets, but we're sort of starting with some of our comfort levels. Um, I come from media, so we're looking at a couple of media opportunities. Uh, we have other sort of advisors and people in our orbit who are interested in esports and ticketing. So we sort of covet what you know first as a way in because we, again, we do believe blockchain is so large and pervasive, there's opportunities everywhere. So at first, uh, at least, we're kind of starting what we know and this way we can see the opportunities firsthand from based on our expertise. And Jeff, I know you mentioned that uh, the company itself stays away from cryptocurrencies, but given that we continue to hear about Bitcoin as well as other cryptocurrencies and how they're volatile as ever, how should people out there who are interested in these digital currencies uh, manage their risk? Well, it's it, it volatile is to you know is is putting it mildly. Now I should say, like you said, my company is not touching cryptocurrency directly right now. So anything I say is sort of from personal uh, experience, and I have day traded and actively traded cryptocurrencies for a couple of years. Uh, how do you mitigate risk? It's I I believe again, rather than chasing, you don't go in on all time highs. You shouldn't be chasing sort of uh, too much hype. If you take solid financial fundamentals, you will sort of do your best to hedge hedge your uh, investments. So you want to look for long term. You want to diversify. Uh, if you want to get into a number of cryptocurrencies, the safest way to sort of enter might be to take the top five or the top ten, put a bit of money in there, and just let it stay for a little while, and take some time and watch the market cycle because it's it's volatile like nothing we've seen in years. And Jeff, uh, that is befitting since we're standing outside the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, whether we're talking about equities, that sort of investment advice might apply all around. But I do want to take a closer look at recent deals as well as announcements uh, that have come out from 360 Blockchain. Uh, you joined as an advisor, but uh, the company itself has been making announcements. So tell me about the most significant ones. Well, the first one that we uh, I think we're finalizing right now is in a company called Silicon Valley Crypto Lab. It's our foothold in Silicon Valley. It's uh, a very interesting innovation uh, in terms of a business model. We are opening a public space that's part hacker space. So it's a technological resource for people in the community. So it's sort of like a gathering place, a coffee shop. That's what we do during the day. And at night, we turn over our equipment to cryptocurrency mining. So I think it's exciting because it's uh, it's a foothold in the space, like I said, to get into the community in Silicon Valley. But it's also taking this cryptocurrency mining and exploring it as a legitimate revenue source. So can crypto minus, cryptocurrency mining done as, as smartly as possible, can that provide a revenue stream to support other endeavors you know, that we want to explore? And last but not least, Jeff, I do want to ask you about trends in the space and trends in the upcoming year. It's hard to believe, but the year is wrapping up and we will 
probably continue to see much growth in uh, blockchain technology. So what's on your radar? Well, I am again, I, I think what's not on my radar are the ICOs. Or, um, they're on my radar in terms of watching them, but they're not on our radar as an investment. I personally haven't touched an ICO in nine months, I'm proud to say. Um, I think we're going to see regulatory bodies come in and get involved. I don't know that um, if the problems with ICOs will then cause sort of a, an infection into the rest of the blockchain technology. I don't think so. I think we're going to see a turning to the underlying blockchain technology as the ICO markets get even like hairier and a little more wild and woolly. Okay, Jeff, well, thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for your insight. Pleasure. Thank you very much.